Welcome back, grade 6, to Nelson Math, chapter 6, section 6, multiplying by two-digit numbers. The concept uh, of multiplying by two-digit numbers is the same as by multiplying by one-digit numbers. And I'm going to show you uh, one way of doing it here. Of course, you are welcome to use the standard algorithm that we talked about in our introduction to this unit, or you may go on the many videos that are on YouTube and look up multiplying by two-digit numbers, and they'll give you examples of uh, how to do it, the steps to do it. You do not need me for that. Please do that and enjoy those videos. What I'm going to show you is I'm going to build on the area model that we talked about during the introduction, during the introduction to chapter six. We discussed that I could rewrite the different numbers in different ways. So right here in this box, I rewrote the 2,347 into 2,000 plus 300 plus 40 plus 7. And I rewrote the 85 into 80 plus 5. And I'm here doing the long multiplication, but I'm just putting it into boxes. And in the previous sections, we did it using area. Well, here I just made all the area exactly the same, all I, but only for the purposes of the box. The numbers on the inside are going to have the numbers that we multiplied. For example, 2,000 times 80 is 160,000. 2,000 times 5 is 10,000. You would get this exact same answer if you had done long, division, uh, long multiplication, rather. Let's go to the next box. Let's do these two boxes. 300 times 80 is 24,000. 300 times 5 is 1,500. 40 times 80 is 3,200. 40 times 5 is 200. 7 times 80 is 560. 7 times 5 is 35. If you don't know how I got these individual numbers in these eight boxes, I'm going to encourage you please to go back to, to the previous sections and see how I did that. I'll give you a quick example now, but for a more thorough explanation, please go to 6.4 and 6.5. 300 times 80, we learned we could do 3 times 8 is 24. And in 80, we have one zero. In 300, we have two zeros for a total of three zeros. And we add three zeros. That's a quick explanation. If you still don't know why that works, please make sure you go back to a previous section. Now, if we have all of these different areas inside the boxes, to find out the sum total, we just add them up. So for this, you could add them up any which way you like, either with pencil and paper, mental math, calculator, collecting uh, sums, whatever you want. So once you add them all up, you will see that our product of 2,347 and 85 is 199,495. And that's how we use a chart like this to multiply bigger numbers. Please make sure you are comfortable with this because this is what's going to allow you to understand multiplying fractions, multiplying decimals far, far more easily in the future. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day.